Welcome back to TCT Bass Fishing, ladies and gentlemen. And today, we got an awesome new video for you guys to kick off 2024. Happy New Year and happy holidays to you guys. I hope you had a great Christmas, a great New Year, all those things, man. And thank you all so much for tuning in to another video. And today, we're going to be here at a beautiful pond that we fished about once or twice on the channel. But the most recent time I came here, we had some success and it looked absolutely beautiful and we were told there's some giant bass in here so we're coming out here to attack it with something that i like to call a bass fishing cheat code this is going to be known as your alabama rig six cents alabama rig to be exact this thing is absolutely beautiful it's got five hooks on it five swim baits this is actually illegal in some states not in texas but in some states this fishing lure is actually legal it is that good so hopefully we can get on today i've actually fished it one other time but i lost it within 10 casts it got stuck on a tree at the bottom which is very uh that's a big l it's about 30 bucks down the drain but today we're gonna hope to not do that and uh, go catch some fish on it because I've never caught any on an Alabama rig, which sounds absolutely crazy, but I've never really fished it. So let's get to it, man. Make sure you please like and subscribe because we are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by summer. So make sure to smash that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and help me hit that goal. But without further ado, you guys, make sure to stay tuned. Hope you enjoy the video and let's go catch some bass. Let's go. All right, you guys, we made it to my first spot here. We're gonna fish this point, which normally, if y'all seen this uh, pond before on my channel, this is normally a point that goes out, but it just rained yesterday a bunch. So it's actually completely underwater, which actually helps in our favor, because we do need a little bit deeper water to fish this Alabama or umbrella rig more effectively. So this honestly works out perfectly. I'm probably just gonna take off my socks that are on my Crocs right now, and uh, just walk out there, honestly. Just get my feet a little wet. It's gonna be a little cold, because we are in winter in Texas, but hey, man, if it ain't in the grind, it ain't worth it. So y'all stay locked in. We're gonna go out here. And uh, move out a little bit towards the water, get a little wet, and throw some belly rig around. So y'all stay tuned. Let's get it. Oh, man, this actually burns. All right, my feet are going to get numb here in a minute. Okay, that's okay. First cast. Let's, uh, let's get, honestly, I might just stand on the bench because my feet don't need to be this cold the entire time I'm fishing. This is going to burn. Because they literally burn right now. It's so cold. That was not smart or ideal. At all. Alright. She's out there. Oh, it's a fish. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, yo, it's a fish. First umbrella rig fish right now. Oh, I see him fighting. Oh, I see him fighting. Yo, it's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Umbrella rig giant. Umbrella rig giant. Holy. Oh. oh. First umbrella rig fish. Two hooks in that bad boy. Holy. It's a freaking toad. It is a freaking toad. The fish are here. Oh my god. Dude, are you kidding me? For a first umbrella rig fish, this is insanity. Oh my. Yo, that's a giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, dude, I need my scale. Holy crap. Dude, this is a tank four pounder, dude. Holy cow. First umbrella rig fish guys first fish of 2024 holy moly first fish of 2024 this is insane oh my god look at this beast an easy four pounder right there i don't have my scale on me but holy moly <laughs> my first umbrella rig fish is a giant let's go all right, you guys, we're gonna get a good release on this beautiful fish. First fish of 2024, and this thing is an absolute beauty. Holy moly, dude. This fish is, oh, he bit my finger. I think he's ready. Come on, buddy. Woo, look at him go. Wow, an absolute beautiful fish. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting on this bench right now. I am legitimately shell shocked that is my first bass of 2024 no lie whatsoever this is the first video i'm recording of 2024 right now the umbrella rig dude 
first bass on the umbrella rig, first fish of 2024. Wow. When I said that thing was a cheat code, it is a cheat code. One of my first few casts, four pounder. I don't know why I'm saying, I need to get up, dude. We need to keep fishing. Day's not over. That's just the first bass of the day. A four pounder. Dude, I wish I had my scale because I'm starting to get scared that I could break a PB out here. That is insanity, dude. Wow. Stay tuned, man. This day could get wicked. Holy Oh my goodness, you guys. What a way to start the day. What a way to start the year on the Six Cents Umbrella Rig with the Six Cents Divine Swim Baits. That was insane, you guys. An absolute giant fish. My first fish of the day in the first few casts in the first 2024 bass. So many awesome things to start the year. Dude, what? Oh man, I had to take a break. That was insane. That was absolutely epic. I cannot believe I just caught that fish. Umbrella rig eats are undefeated right now. One for one, giant bass. I actually can't believe I just caught that fish. On my first umbrella rig bass. Dude, when they say this thing's a cheat code, they're not kidding. I said it was a cheat code, but I've never caught a fish on it. But I've seen so many people catch multiple fish and big fish with this thing. And man, I finally experienced it myself. Man, this thing is good. And we, ow. We're gonna, we're gonna keep fishing with it, because holy moly, that, that proved its case. Wow. Yeet it out there again. Get in that middle, because I've never really got to fish this middle of this place, because it is always fed up with grass during the summer. But now we're actually getting a chance to fish it. And man, there's big ones lurking in the depths of this place. That was, that was epic. Epic fail of the year for me. Good lord, that was, okay. All right, you guys, we're on the move. We got the camera in this hand, tripod and a rig and rod in this hand and my backpack on with all the other stuff. We're gonna make a little bit of a move. We caught that one big fish here to start and then we had a little bit of a drought. We fished around a little bit there, a little bit more, but we're gonna try to cover as much water as we can with the time we have, because here in Texas, it gets dark at five. So that is an absolute bummer and it's about 2.45 right now. We still got plenty of time, but I just wanna make sure I get all the spots in this pond before we run out of time today. So I'll stay tuned. We're gonna make a move. Not very far, honestly. Just a different angle and try to get some more casts and some more areas we haven't got to yet. And make sure we take full advantage of this pond and what today offers in this beautiful weather and this beautiful Alabama rain. Y'all stay tuned, it's gonna get wicked. Let's go. All right, you guys, we have now moved spots, uh, really probably about 50 yards away from where we first started. But now we're here, we're gonna try to catch some more fish in some different angles. We're trying to get cover this whole pond today with this umbrella rig and see how many fish we can get on. So far, we only got one, but it's a very good value fish. If we end the day on just that one fish, honestly, I'll be happy. It was a great catch, great content opportunity. Biggest fish on the channel in a very long time. So that was awesome, that was epic. I wish I had my scale, that's the only regret, but we're gonna get out here, keep fishing, and uh, let's try to land another one. Let's go. No, I think my rod just snapped. No way. My rod didn't snap, the line snapped. Clean off. I thought my rod snapped. Honestly, that was a lot more scary than that umbrella rig snapping. No way. Dude, this is 50 pound braid. I'm just eating that thing, I guess, too hard. Now I have a backlash of doom way in there. Oh shoot, yeah bro. Alright. That is not what we wanted at all. Alright you guys, well as you saw there, we did snap off the Alabama rig. I'm absolutely super mad about it, but 
we're gonna keep fishing we're gonna finish out this day we're not gonna just quit on the day just because we lost our alabama rig and only alabama rig we're gonna go out there and keep fishing uh probably just go wacky rig just trying to count up these numbers on these fish and keep catching them if we can't catch them this way on the wacky rig today which is not meant to be but either way we did catch a giant bass today so i'm super happy with the way this panned out but at what cost we lost our alabama rig we basically paid like 40 bucks for a big bass well honestly i'll pay 40 bucks to catch that bass again that was absolutely awesome i ain't gonna lie to you guys but let's stay tuned man and let's keep going stay focused keep locking in and catching these fish so we're gonna go out there with the x zone wacky rig and go out there and try to catch them so y'all stay tuned let's go catch some more bass let's go All right, you guys, we're on the move again. We're gonna keep walking around with this wacky rig and hopefully land at least one more bass to end the day. But there was just a police officer patrolling this neighborhood, which I've never seen before. So it has me a little fishy that somebody may have called and complained about something, I don't know. But don't see him anymore. Hopefully we don't get in trouble because that would be a hefty fine and uh, suck. It would suck, but let's stay tuned. Let's keep focus. Try to catch one more bass, dude. We might have to make an emergency switch pond, but I don't want to do all that. It's going to take forever. But if you all stay tuned, try to land another one. Let's rock. After the pressing loss of our Alabama rig, we're back out here again. Same spot, but we're going to cast around here. We're going to now cover probably the entire pond relatively quickly here and then call it a day. Hopefully land a couple fish while doing so. But we'll see. Hard to tell. My feet are wet right now. Thought I had a fish. Wasn't paying attention really at all. Oh my gosh. Dude, I was on my phone. I saw Nick Saban retired and I was looking at it and then I felt this fish is tugging on it. What in the world? Dude, he's dink. Dude. Certified dink. Oh my goodness. Got a two hand two finger grab this guy. Oh, don't you dare put that hook on my finger, boy. Thank you. You threw my Senko? Oh, you're a little sucker. What the heck? Alright you guys, well it looks like the umbrella rig is not the only fish we're gonna catch today. Looks like we caught this little Make him look a giant. Oh, <laughs> a little dink, but man, I'm just glad we didn't go out with just one fish. Cut another one. This is honestly a really beautiful bass for his size. He's really tiny, really beautiful. Let's get a release on him and uh, try to catch a couple more before we call it a day. Let's go. All right, little buddy, let's get you in the water. Absolute beautiful fish for a little buddy like you. Have fun, buddy. He gone. Let's try to get another one. Let's go. All right, you guys, we got our stuff. We're heading out. We're done for the day. It's been an absolute grind fest. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Honestly, I don't really think throwing a wacky rig was the smartest idea. I probably should have grabbed a rattle trap or a shatterbait. But, you know, it's all cool. First first video of 2024. I'll call it a success. The past few videos we've been going on here with the goal to catch a big bass like we have today. And today we accomplished that. So, you know what? I'm happy with the way today it is. We didn't get the numbers we wanted to, but we definitely got the quantity or quality that we wanted to other than that man it was a great day beautiful day to come out here fish first fishing day of 2024 absolute success i had a great time i hope y'all had a great time watching through the success and the struggles man today was a roller coaster it was a great time we got some good clips some good footage some good bass and we did not get just one bass we did get that one bass the size of my hand. So that was absolutely cool too. But man, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for supporting. And make sure to smash that subscribe button, man, because we are on the grind for 5K by summer. So man, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Make sure you please like, subscribe, and I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all thought in the comments. And until next time we catch more bass, ah, peace out.